Hello and welcome to Munson Made This. My name is Michael and I cook vegan food. So if you want more vegan recipes, you should click that subscribe button below and make sure to hit the bell notification so that you're notified when my new videos come out. There are a ton of ways you can support this channel and I'm thankful to all of you that it happens supporting this channel, whether it's through subscription or liking the videos um, or even the monetary support that you can give to this channel, which all the links for those are below. Channel memberships, Patreon, and now I have the new applause button. So thanks to all of you that have done that in the past and thanks to all of you that are going to do it now. Today, I'm going to be making a recipe for you that I never thought that I would do because the internet is so saturated with it and you've already seen what it is in the thumbnail and in the title, but mine are the best that you'll ever try. And it's something that I've just been making and I've thrown all the ingredients together. It's a way that I've used cauliflower when I'm, I know that it's going bad and I never thought to make a video for it, but I realized mine are really good. So why not share it? with you. So the cauliflower wings I'm going to be making today obviously start with cauliflower and uh, I've cut these up in a very particular way. You want them to be about two bite-sized pieces and um, if you want to see the full method that I use to cut cauliflower you should watch the cauliflower taco video which I will link above here. So I'm going to set these aside while I make the batter. Mine is more of a battered wing as opposed to a breaded wing. Um, so let's start throwing things together in this big bowl. This recipe starts with probably my favorite ingredient of all time, which is chickpea flour. It's just ground up dried chickpeas and it's my favorite sort of egg replacer. It's my favorite binder. It tastes great once it's cooked, <laughs> not so great when it's raw. And I just think the final texture and like character that it gives the dish is so great. For flavoring, I'm gonna be adding some nutritional yeast, which um, kind of has like a cheesy flavor, but for this, it just gives a savory depth. Um, I have garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and cayenne pepper. If you don't like heat, obviously leave out the cayenne pepper. Why did I say that? Cayenne pepper. And then finally, salt and black pepper. And I'm just gonna stir these ingredients together. And this just makes sure that the wings have a nice flavor. Um, we will be obviously putting some buffalo sauce on it later, but this just makes sure that the wings themselves, the cauliflower, taste great even without the sauce on them. All right, now normally when I make a uh, like vegan egg substitute using chickpea flour, I use a one-to-one -one ratio of chickpea flour to water. Um, but for this, because I want this to be a little bit thicker, I'm gonna use only about a quarter cup of water to the half cup of chickpea flour. And you don't need to write that down. You can go to my website, MunsonMadeThis.com or follow the link below and get the full printable recipe. Or if you join my channel memberships, you will have the PDF of each recipe uh, delivered to you as the videos come out. So just gonna mix these together. Um, if you wanted to make two pounds of wings, cause I'm gonna be making one pound of cauliflower into wings, you could easily double this recipe. I would say this probably serves two to three, but um, the dressing that I'll be serving it with later, which is a tofu based ranch, this has chickpea flour. So the recipe actually has quite a bit of protein in it other than just like it's not just cauliflower, it's not just like empty, no nothing, just, I mean, cauliflower has nutrition, I'm rambling now. What I'm trying to say is that this recipe, even though it's just cauliflower wings, has pretty good nutritional value other than just having what's in cauliflower. So you could eat it as a meal or as an appetizer, but I would say about two to three people with a pound of cauliflower is good, but double it if you're serving more. So the texture here is kind of pasty as opposed to runny and you want it to be pasty so that it sticks to the wings. And then I'm going to add my cut up cauliflower. And this part takes a second because you wanna make sure that everything gets fully coated. So I'm just gonna go using my rubber scraper and just toss these and keep going and going until I see that all of the cauliflower is coated. If it seems that there's no way, I mean, it's gonna be like pretty like pretty even by the time you're done, but if you feel like there's no way, there's no way this cauliflower is gonna be coated by this amount, then definitely just mix a little bit more chickpea flour and water and add it to this mix. I do take a fair amount of time to do this. I would say it takes a minute or two of stirring just to make sure that that batter gets all over everything. And it's okay if, as you see here, there's like a couple bits that aren't 100% covered. Um, It'll be fine. The last ingredient, um, it's kind of a strange one. I got this at Trader Joe's. Um, it's called rice crumbs. And essentially what it is, is just rice breadcrumbs. So you could just use panko breadcrumbs. You could use just like a seasoned breadcrumb. You could use 
My preference would be a gluten-free breadcrumb, not that I'm gluten-free, but I like the texture of a gluten-free breadcrumb because it has just a little bit more crunch, and those are normally rice flour based. So look for rice crumbs or just use your favorite breadcrumb. And that gets tossed on at the end. And this just helps things absorb the flavor a little bit later when we add the sauce. And it also adds a little bit of crispiness. And that's it. This is gonna go onto a baking sheet and then we throw it in the oven. I have a parchment lined baking sheet. And by the way, my oven is already preheated to about 425 degrees. Wow, this is a mess. And I'm just going to individually set these onto the paper, making sure that they're not touching. And usually there's like a flat cut side. I like to keep that down first. So these are gonna cook in sort of three stages. The first is 15 minutes, and that's to just do the initial cook and to get one side crispy. I'm gonna flip them over and cook them for about another 10 to 15 minutes and that is going to get the other side crispy. Then I'm gonna take them out of the oven, toss them with the sauce, which I'll make a little bit later, and then those go back in the oven again for about 10 to 15 more minutes, and then they are done. They're savory, they're spicy, they're crispy, they're delicious, and again, they're a complete meal because it's not only veggies, but it's also full of protein. So this is gonna go in the oven for the first 15 minutes. The first 15 minutes is up, and I'm just gonna take these out. They're not gonna be brown, they're gonna be a little bit crispy, um, but right now we just wanna flip them over so that we get the other side also brown and crispy. Don't use your fingers, use tongs. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I guess I have like what they call, you know, asbestos fingers. I'm so used to doing this with my hands. So uh, they're hot. <laughs> it just came out of a 425 degree oven. So I'm just gonna flip all of these and then they go back in the oven for another 15 minutes. While the cauliflower cooks on its second side, we need to talk about sauces. Two important sauces for buffalo wings are first, ranch dressing so that you can dip them in the ranch. Yeah, you need ranch to dip the wings in. And this is my universal salad dressing ranch. So I'll have the link above. It's in my wedge salad video. Uh, it's tofu based. This actually, I didn't put any cashews in it, which is normally in the recipe and it worked great. So if you have any nut allergies and you see that recipe and you wanna make it, uh, it comes out just as well without the cashews. Second sauce that we need is the buffalo sauce. And to do that, we need a cayenne pepper sauce such as Frank's Red Hot. So we're gonna start out with about a quarter cup of that. And this is just the same bowl that I tossed the wings in earlier. And so we need about a quarter cup of that. If you noticed earlier, I did not use any oil um, in the wings. You could make this entire recipe oil free. Um, but I like a little bit of oil in the sauce, so just a couple tablespoons of oil in there. You could also use melted vegan butter if you'd like, um, but I'm using olive oil because that's just, I don't have to melt vegan butter. And the last thing is a little bit of salt and black pepper. So this just gets mixed together and this can hang out until the wings are ready. And the next step will be to toss them in this. If you wanted to do a completely different flavor profile, you definitely could. Say you wanted to sub in coconut instead of the rice um, crumbs. Yeah, rice crumbs. You could use coconut uh, and use a teriyaki sauce instead of the Frank's Red Hot. Be a non-spicy version, equally delicious. Maybe you could do a batch in buffalo, a batch in teriyaki. It would be great. So, so many options, same base. So these have been in the oven a total of 30 minutes and they are kind of crispy, um, but now we need to sauce them. And in order to make sure that they are kind of crispy on the other side, we got to put them back into the oven. So again, using my asbestos fingers here to put them into the sauce. And I'm going to carefully toss them around in the sauce. I don't want to break any of that coating we put on there. Um, some inev inevitably will kind of fall off, but we're going to try to make that not happen. So just going to toss this around. The breading or the coating is going to absorb that sauce. And then the reason I do put the oil in it is because that's gonna help once they go back into the oven to get a slightly crispy texture once again. And then again, these go back onto the lined baking sheet, which keeps sliding. And then I will use my fingers again to separate them. 
These smell so good, you could eat them now, but I think going back in the oven, getting some like kind of dark little ends on them is just worth the extra time because they're pretty much fully cooked right now. All right, it's cool enough for me to touch. Let's go back in the oven, 15 more minutes, and then we get to eat. The wait is over. These look and smell incredible. So I'm just going to plate these in a way that I think is kind of cool. I have this little cast iron pan. And I'm just gonna stack these in here. And again, use my fingers because other tools just don't seem to be working as well. And I've got the ranch in a little bowl here. Of course, you need to serve buffalo wings of all sorts with celery, something else to dip in the ranch. I'm just gonna pile these up. And then I'm gonna top them with just a little bit of fresh parsley to add a bit of green, a little bit of pretty. My wait is over, I get to dig in. Have my own little personal dish of ranch here, which I'm slathering all over this wing. Mm. To think that it's like seasoned tofu I'm dipping it into, then it's cauliflower that's dredged in chickpea flour. Like, it sounds so crazy, sounds so simple, sounds so wholesome, but it's so decadent when you eat it. It's delicious, it's so spicy. If you don't like the spice, leave out the cayenne, but if you like heat, I definitely recommend adding that to the batter. This is a must try. Everyone has their version. Everyone's gonna say that their version is the best, but trust me when I tell you, this is the best cauliflower wing recipe. So thank you for watching. Thanks to all of you that have supported my channel, whether you're subscribing, liking, or helping me out monetarily through channel memberships, Patreon, or even the applause button, which is new. So thank you and, um, if you are a channel member, go ahead and follow me over to the months and eight this video where I will be enjoying probably this entire dish because these are so good. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time with another recipe video. Bye.